Hello, here's how to set up the GSP product selection wizard after you've installed the app. There's only one thing you have to do, that's add the product wizard button to the page layout. So to do this, click on the cog and select edit page. Then click the middle of the page to see the page layouts. We've got four of them in this case, you might only have one. Click on the page layout to open the editor. To add the button to the Lightning Opportunity page layout, select Mobile and Lightning Actions, and then drag the Product Wizard button onto the Salesforce Mobile and Lightning Actions section of the page. I'd move it to the front. If some of your users are using the classic interface, it's a similar step. Click Buttons and add the Product Wizard button into the Custom Buttons section of the page layout. Then you need to save. Either click the Main Save button or the Quick Save if you want to navigate easily to other Opportunity page layouts and add the buttons to those. Now go to your Opportunity. There's the button. We can use it to open the product selection wizard. That's all you need to do to get going, but some companies will want to adjust the wizard. For example, the tree structure. By default, it's based on the product family. But let's say you have another pick list on the product that you use to categorize products. No problem. This time go to setup, Object Manager, and then down to Product. Click on the Field Sets. Choose the Product Wizard Field Set. And in this Salesforce environment, we have a custom field on the product called Type. It's a pick list. Simply drag the field onto the Field Set, either above or below the product family. Incidentally, if you don't use the product family, you can always take it off the page. Click Save. Now go back to your opportunity. Open the product wizard. And you can see the change that you've made to the tree structure. One final thing. Let's say you want to add a field to the right-hand pane here. It's a field your users enter when you add a product to an opportunity. Go back to the setup. Object Manager, this time down to Opportunity Products and Field Sets. If you only want to make the field visible but not editable, add it only to the first field set. If you want to make it editable, add it to the first two field sets. And if you want it to be mandatory, you'd add it to the third field set also. Let's just make it visible and editable here. There we are. Let's go back to the opportunity. And here's our field. So that's how to set up and customize the GSP product selection wizard. We have another video that shows how to set up and modify the product packages feature of the wizard. And of course, if you have any questions, use the contact us page of our website at garysmithpartnership.com to get in touch. Bye for now.